Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Scorched Earth. We've got quite a bit planned today. We're going to be dealing with the wyverns. So I went ahead and built a trap over by the wyvern trench. I uh, didn't record what, while I was doing it because I wasn't sure how I was going to work it out with the ground being not too level over there. But it turned out pretty well, so we'll take a look at it. I went ahead and put a bed over there and a little shelter with a preserving bin. That way we have somewhere to respawn uh, if and when we die. <laughs> I do expect it to happen, so I put like three or four beds over there. But I got us a new moth. So this was a level 108. I went ahead and grabbed two explorer notes and pumped all the points that we got from it into health and stamina. Hopefully we'll get some more points between now and then. Probably put some more into stamina. And she's got a really good saddle. Uh, 286, one that I looted. So she should last long enough. Kind of a key part in this is having the moth. That way we can kite them over. And then one last thing I need to grab is some of that for our preserving bin. And a little bit of ammo. This needs to be out here where I can get to it. So I got 102 darts that we're taking with us. Don't know how many we'll need, but dude, that chemistry bench, oh man, it has made it so much easier to get stuff made up. And I'm bringing some, I made some more food. So I'm bringing one of the foods and two of the drinks. That should be enough. We shouldn't be over here too long. I really only need to get one, maybe two of the wyverns because we only need a little bit of milk for the imprint process. I won't eat too much for the raising up because of my the way my settings are and stuff. It doesn't take too long. And I think you get five milk out of each wyvern, so we should be fine. We'll get two if we can. Hopefully there's not going to be too many lightning wyverns. That's the one thing I'm kind of worried about. We can deal with the poison ones fairly easy. And the fire ones are the best. If we can get the fire ones, that would be awesome. But let's get over here, take a look at the trap, and then we'll start getting some called in. And hopefully it won't be too part of a process I think it's still pretty early in the day right it's noon so we should have enough time to get over there get it done and get back before nighttime here's the trench I don't see anybody in it at the moment it's landed just to get our stamina back before we head over the trap is right over here yeah there it is kind of spawning in now it's almost over where I kind of built the other one. Oh, dude <gasps> is that an alpha Dude, there wasn't an alpha here whenever... Oh, that's a lightning one, too. Well, that's a horrible combination. There was not an alpha whenever I was building this. But anyways, there's our little shack up there. Let's go ahead and we'll stop there first, and then I'll show you about the trap that I built. Let me get rid of this spark powder before I forget about it. Hopefully, we don't have any problems with that alpha. And you can tell that I really wasn't paying attention when I was out here building because I built a stone shack out in the desert. <laughs> it's a horrible thing, man. Because of the heat. Yes, yeah, so we've got three beds. So we pretty much need to respawn in there and then get out immediately. Yeah, come over this way, man. Stay away from my little hut. So for this trap, we're going to have the wyvern follow us. And then we need to be really low to the ground. We'll fly in here. The wyvern will follow us. We'll go through here. It'll be trapped. And the way I have it built is, you can kind of see it's at an angle. So it's going to be hard for it because it has such a turning radi wide turning radius to where it can't really get out. I'll tell you what, we need to put you on passive. Let's go ahead and take this thing out, man. Yeah, being in stone is not a good thing out here in the desert. But I built all this with just regular stone foundations. And then I put the triangle ones down. So I could get the angles right there and right here. And then it's five high. And these are just double door frames. So it's fairly easy. And those are regular roofs. And those kind of span the whole thing. And then I just went ahead after that was built and filled it in with regular foundations. So it's not too bad, but they got such a wide turning radius. They'll come in and then they'll try to get out. And whenever they spin around here, they shouldn't be able to spin around there because their radius is so tall or so wide. They'll just come over to this side. So that's it, man. It is fairly simple. It takes a little bit to build because I had to be on the moth to be able to get the ones up higher. So once you get the ceiling built and stuff, it's pretty easy. You can do half of it from the ground and then jump up top and do the other half down. And since you got foundations, you can do the ceilings all the way across because it has a foundation underneath it to support it, you know? Uh-oh, is our torpor still going up? 
Oh, it's going down. Dude, that was kind of scary. All right, let's see what we have here. We can't go too far from this ledge because they're going to outrun us. Oh, man, that alpha. Is that a female? <gasps> oh, there's a fire one there. So that's a level 8 female. I do not want to mess with that. I don't know if you can actually trank those. That's a male. And that's a male. Hmm. No females, huh? Alright, tell you what. Let's head down a little bit further. Yeah, I do not want to aggro that alpha man. Oh, dude. That'd be such a bad day. What do we have on this side? A bunch of nothing. I don't know if that's one down there. You stay there, man. You'll be fine. Oh, dude. Oh, don't tell me I just aggroed that one. That's the male, too, isn't it? All right, give me a couple of minutes. Let me try to find us a female. And then we'll try to figure out how to get it over there without us dying. That's kind of a key thing here. Well, that is not a very smart spot to land in. I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying. You probably should try not to land in the lava. It, I don't know. It might be like a jacuzzi for them. I'm not sure. So there's a female poison below us. And then that is a female lightning. Uh, I guess we'll go with the poison. I'm not sure how we can call it easy. Let's get up here. And I'll try to shoot it. We're not too terribly far from our trap. Let's load in some regular bullets. I'll, I'll pick off whichever one. Well, we should be able to get the poison one down there. Totally missed. It's alright. It was a warning shot. Dude, get out of the lava, man. Well, we got her. All right, let's go ahead and throw those in. She's coming. Oh, she's coming. We need to kind of sail along this side until we get close. Oh, is she not going to come up? Oh, she's coming. Yep. <laughs> nice. At least we got some range on her. Oh, she's coming in a little bit faster than I was hoping. I don't want her to have to circle around, you know? Yep, she's on us. Nice. Good altitude. Awesome. Right in. I like it. And you stay there. And you stay there. Can we reload, please? <gasps> oh, no. Don't go out. There we go. We just need to stay far enough back where she can't get us. And hopefully not get out. We need to get her around this front side here. So she gets kind of stuck in the... The side. Yeah, there we go. She's in the side over here. Oh, man. Actually, she's out. She's kind of stuck in the middle there. Ooh. That's a bad spot. I don't know if she's just clipped in there wrong. And it's a visual bug. That's alright. She's in there at least a little bit. We'll try to get some tranks into her, get her to take a nice nap. <gasps> nice, she's out! So I don't know how I'm going to kill her, because I didn't bring any extra stuff, and she's going to wake up pretty quick. I don't know what her health is. This might work. I didn't think about that. I should have brought, like, a... should have made a sword or something. I got a really nice sword blueprint. Eh, we might get her killed before she wakes up. It's going to be close. <laughs> you can see her health bar going down about as fast as her unconscious bar is going down. Ah. Nice. Okay. Holy crap. That was like some crazy timing on that. I will take this because we need that anyways for the boss fights. And let's go ahead and get rid of the body so we can get another one in. Nice, that turned out not too bad, man. Wait, what did she draw? Oh, that's all the stuff I threw out. Alright, let's go ahead and throw this over into 
our preserving bin because it doesn't last long is the only thing and we're getting heat stroke 25 minutes All right, let's go ahead and throw it in a preserving bin. That should double the time, I think. Oh, man, that's like four hours. Dude, we're good, man. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. So, our heat stroke. We're only at 1%, so we should be good. Let's go ahead and eat a food and a water. That's our only food, so... <laughs> yeah, we gotta make this work. Let's try for... The lightning, and we'll see how it goes. If anything, if it goes south, then we'll just leave it like it is and take the five and call it good. I'd like to get these uh, five more just in case. Because nothing like trying to get an egg hatched and then all of a sudden you run out. The thing is though, man, with this lightning one, dude, we gotta be kind of spot on with our tagging it and then shake and bake because it'll put us out pretty quick. Where was it? Where did we land? I think it was right here last time, wasn't it? Kind of worries me that we don't see it. Because it's like, where is it? Where is it at now? Is that the alpha? Or is that the male? Too far away. Let's get a little closer. That might be one that we can tag if it's a different one that spawned in. That's the male. Where'd the alpha go? A scary thought, too. Is that another one? That's a male poison. Swing back around, man. Let me see what you were. That's another male. Holy crap, where's all the females? Ah, uh, don't be hollering, dude. <laughs> you let them know we're over here. It's kind of weird how they're all stuck in the wall. Oh, there's a lightning one. Let's see what level that one is. Or what gender. Too far away. There's something else I saw underneath over here. Is that the male one that we saw? It is. Oh, there's the alpha. Okay. So it's still here. I want to see what that lightning one is because that's really close. Like, good location for the trap. That's a female. Oh, okay, there's a female. Was that getting boosted from the alpha? Is that why it had that arrow over it? I don't know. I've never messed with the alphas that much. Not on the wyverns. That is like a whole lot of nope right there, man. Alright, let's get over here so we don't fall off. And then let's load in some ammo. And we'll go ahead and tag the lightning one. It moved. What are you, though? That's a female. We'll tag that one. Oh, it's coming. Yep. Shake and bake, man. I don't know why I keep trying to reload. Oh, when I'm right there. Yep, we're gonna have to... Oh, man, we gotta have to loop around. Dude, it's like... Oh, it's like a... Like an aimbot. All right, man, come on. Line up. Line up. Oh, nice. All right, we got to get way out of the way on this one. Dude, that thing looks awesome, man. Look at the purple. Am I far enough away? I mean, I'll find out here at the, in a minute, but... Oh, dude, that's an awesome collar. Oh, my gosh, it's loose. Welp. My trap wasn't that well on him, was it? Alright, let's get him lined back up. 
Oh, man. All right, he's back in. There we go. Now he's actually stuck in there. He wasn't actually... Oh, I'm too close! The range on that thing, man. I got heat stroke coming on. Oh, dude. Drink our water, our last water. That'll help on some health, too, though. I think he's tearing up our trap. Yeah, we're at 12% heat stroke. Oh, it's down. Nice. We're just going to grab the milk and run. I don't think we're going to try to kill it. Oh, actually, we need to kill it. It's only level 8. Doesn't have too much health, but we need to really watch out. In case I got to trank it again. Actually, can I trank it again now? Oh, I can. Okay, cool. I didn't think about that the first time. There we go. Kill it off, get the talent from it. And then I think we're going to have to head back, man, because I have got really bad heat strokes starting to set in. Awesome. Wait, where's my loot? <gasps> no talent? What? Those don't give you a talent, huh? Let's drop all this prime meat. Cool. Well, we got our milks. Let's head over. Poor little scorpion. Grab the other one and try to fly back as fast as we can. Before my heat stroke kicks in too bad. At least get out of the desert part over here. And plus, we got a time limit on this milk. Cool. Well, that worked out very, very well. A lot better than I thought it was gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and fly back to base. <laughs> I think we can make it almost all the way there on one charge of stamina. And then try to get this stuff in a preserving bin right away. And then I think we're gonna have to wait to the next one to actually hatch it. Because, dude, my heat stroke, oh, it's getting bad. It's at 19%, and it's gonna keep getting worse until it cools down some. All right, we'll see you back in a minute when we get back to base. So the heat stroke has gone away some, flying back. As soon as we got out of the desert, it was actually up to 21%, and now it's down to 16, so it's not too bad. It seems like it just when you're in the desert, it gets the worst. Let's go ahead and throw this stuff in the preserving bin first, and then we'll grab some food and water. So how long is that going to last? That's plenty of time in there. Let's grab a little bit of water, man. Ah, there we go. And let's grab some food since we're here. Well, let's just eat some berries. I'm gonna say we'll grab some meat. At least we got some sulfur. I can make some preserving salts. I really need to go down and just. We'll probably do that here in an upcoming video. Do some exploration and grab some sulfur and stuff like that. And I need to take a look and see how many of each talent it is that we need. I think it's three of each for the gamma. Well, that's a thing. We didn't get anything from that lightning wyvern. Let's go ahead and put that... We'll put it in here for now. And we'll probably get rid of this. We got plenty of that. Well, it's not too bad, man. I kind of overdid it, I think, on the darts. 84, we hit that 100. But look at this blueprint, man. So it's 213% is what it is, but awesome durability. And that's kind of like... It'll help out with trank and stuff, too, with not having to use as many. It'd be nice if it was a better damage percent but it's 2600 on the metal ingots i mean i got a bunch cooking up here but <laughs> we're a little shy still anyways we got our milk i got our milk man so we'll be able to go ahead and hatch the egg in the next video and see what it turns out to be hopefully it's going to be a really good one i got a feeling it will be uh then we can steal some more eggs too anyways gonna go ahead and leave this one here hope you enjoyed the video and hope you enjoyed our little wyvern trap that we have out there as always Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.